of Stick Handling Class with Union Thunder. I'm Coach Matt. And today we are going to be working on our stick handling a little bit. And we're also going to be working on combining that with building our core. So that's our abdominal muscles up through our hips. Very key area to having strength on the ice as far as balance, coordination, speed, agility, even things like shooting or stick handling. You kind of need to have a good, stable, strong core. So what we're going to do is a combo uh, set today where we are going to be doing uh, one round of stick handling followed by a round of a core exercise and then the same thing two more times through so 45 seconds of stick handling drill 45 seconds of a core exercise 45 seconds of stick handling core stick handling core that'll complete one full exercise one full round and then we're going to be doing four of those with four different stick handling drills and four different core exercises so the workout today should be about 25 minutes long, maybe 30 minutes if we go a little longer, if I talk too much in between. The stick handling drills that we're gonna be doing today are all gonna be built around forming your top hand strength. So lefties, that's your right hand, this is the hand on the top of the stick, and righties, that's your left hand. This hand we've talked a lot about needs to be really strong for great stick handling because it's the hand that does all the twisting of the wrist. So actually all four stick handling drills that we do today are gonna to be done entirely one-handed. Okay, so some of the same drills that we always do, but now we're just gonna be modifying them so that they're a little more difficult, they're on one hand only. I think we've gotten to a point now, we're already in week seven of our online training. A lot of you guys have gotten significantly better and stronger and faster with your stick handling. So I think it's time to take it up to another level. Make sure you're really feeling that burn in your wrist today and keep stick handling through as you go. It may be a little painful at times, but keep pushing through it so that we're getting that strength and development and growth that we're looking for. Same thing with the core exercises. They may get a little bit tough once you get to round three of each one. Keep going for the full 45 seconds and see how many you can get in there with good technique within those 45 seconds. All right, again, today we will need our stick, gloves, four extra pucks for setting up some of the drills, and then either a puck or a ball to stick handle with. Outside of that, you don't really need anything else. You can do this one in your flip-flops if you want. Uh, a lot of core exercises where you're gonna be laying down and stick handling with one hand. So don't need sneakers today if you don't wanna wear them. Totally fine. The one thing I will say though, if you wanna be up on the spotlight, please wear a shirt. I know we're getting into this like two months of being at home, but uh, we do want everyone to be wearing shirts when going around through the spotlight. Last reminder, um, make sure we're only using the chat feature here for questions that are relevant to today's class. And also make sure we stay on mute. If you have rollerblades on for today, I would actually recommend taking the rollerblades off. You're not gonna wanna have those on. It's gonna be really, really hard to do the core exercises that are so critical. Even for our younger guys, I want you guys doing these core exercises because they're really, really important to making you a better all around athlete and a better skater. And it's gonna be very, very difficult to do these with rollerblades on because your feet and ankles are just gonna be way too heavy with those big bulky things on your feet. So I would take those off give you guys two or three minutes because I know a couple of you guys have some rollerblades on right now. I'd recommend taking those off and let's start getting set up. Okay. Just again, a reminder to stay on mute for the entire lesson so that we can limit the distractions as we go through. Okay. First set here. And again, I'm going to show you both exercises. I'm going to start it off with the stick handling and then we're going to flip it over to you guys and we're going to go continuous all the way through the three rounds of each combo set here. So, the first one we're gonna do is gonna be one-handed stick handling, top hand strength, dropping down onto two knees and then standing up continuously. So, one-handed, down, and back up. We wanna keep our chest up the whole time. We wanna keep our hands moving back and forth, twisting our wrist over the ball or puck. We can use the puck here too. And constantly up and down. And it also helps if you alternate which leg you go down and up with. So, on one side, switch to the other. Drop to your left knee first. Stand up with your left knee. And on the next one, drop with your right knee. Stand up with your right knee. And you're going to keep doing that continuously for 45 seconds. Once we give you the cue to switch, you're going to drop down onto your back. You can keep your gloves on, but I would drop my stick here. Drop onto your back. You're going to lift your feet up. 
and we're gonna do 45 seconds of leg raises. So we're gonna come down, hold for three, up, hold for three, down, hold for three, up, hold for three, okay? So very similar to the stuff that Coach Spencer does on Mondays. We want to make sure that we are taking our time, holding those for the three count all the way through, focusing on good technique the whole way, okay? Keeping those legs out straight, pressing your lower back down to the ground, all right? So again, 45 seconds on each. We're going to go through that three times before we go into the next round of exercise, okay? We're going to start in five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. You can do this one with a pop or with a ball. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's switch it over onto your back. Repeat up. Hold for three. Up for three. Down for three. Up for three. All right, let's see how you guys are doing. Palmer, that's really good. Hold for three, and then down for three. Good, and when we're down for three, that's perfect. Just like Palmer's doing here, you wanna hold those feet just above the ground, maybe six inches above the ground. Good, keeping them out perfectly straight, really strong and tight through the core. That's perfect. Okay, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Come back up, quick back up. Good, let's go over to the gallons. How you guys doing? Good. Yep, up and down, twisting the top hand for these top hand stick handles. Good, getting stronger with that top wrist. Cameron, there's no smiling at hockey. You know the rules. You worked on that all season with the mites and you're still smiling during, during hockey. It's unacceptable. All right. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And let's roll right into those leg lifts. Good. 45 seconds of leg lifts. Good. Let's see it. Sammy Friedman, you're up. So let's do it. All right. Perfect. Sammy, when you go down, try to hold it perfectly right. Up. Yeah, bring them down and then hold them right there. One, two, three three and back up good nice job pressing your lower back down towards the ground right, and getting all that motion coming through your lower abdominals there five i'm sorry 10 seconds left and five four three two one let's switch it up good griffin popping right up and he's getting into it and yep, steady, keeping your chest up, dropping down, good. Good, right, working on keeping your eyes up, working on good vision, top hand is out. Everybody is getting so much stronger with their top hand. You know, for those of you who do a lot of private lessons with me, this is something we work on quite a bit, top hand strength, and we're actually gonna do one drill today at the end that's very similar to something that we do on the ice quite a bit using one hand backhand pulls. Very good, five seconds left, four, three, two, one, and let's switch it over to those leg lifts. Coming over to Chase. All right, Chase, let's see those leg lifts, buddy. Yep, perfect. Hold them down, hold them at the bottom, right? Bring them down, hold them right there. Three seconds, one, two, three, and up. Good, hold one, two, three. Back down slow, good. 
Keep it going. You got another 20 seconds, guys. Good job, Chase. Sometimes we lose our guys for the ab stuff because they now on the ground. We don't get to see them. Go back to Griffin. All right, Griff, let's see it, buddy. Keep them up. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, nice job, guys. So that was the first combo for today. Get me back up on the screen here. Okay, we're going into our second combo for today. And for this one, you're gonna need your four extra pucks. Okay, we're gonna take those four extra pucks and we're gonna make them into a straight line here. And these straight lines are gonna be right in front of you. So I'm actually gonna do it from a side view on the camera here. Uh, you can do it with a front view on the camera too. That's totally fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna line them up like this. See them nice and well in front of you. Okay, so we got four pucks, a little less than a foot apart each. And we do this drill already with two hands working on our hand slide. But what we can also do is we can take that bottom hand off, forget about the hand slide, and work on our top hand strength, just really focusing on pulling and twisting with this top hand. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to come through, back and forth, zigzagging around all of these pucks, okay, using one hand as we go. And you get a lot of twisting. You're going to have to move your hand out and back in close to your body. So some coordination there. Pretty simple one. But after you do 45 seconds in a row of it, you're going to be feeling it in your wrists. Okay? So again, four pucks in a straight line, back and forth. Then we're going to drop down. And the second part of this drill is our Spider-Man plank. So we've done these ones before. We're going to be down in our plank position here. Okay, and we're going to lift up one leg at a time, turn the hip, rotate it out to the side, bring it up outside your body, and touch the outside of your elbow, alternating on each side. Okay, so we're going from our four puff in and out, one handed, into Spider Man planks, 45 seconds of each, three times through. All right. Start in five seconds, four, three, two, one. A little bit of a toe drag in here, backhand toe drag at the top. And then as you come in close to your feet, a little bit of a forehand toe drag. And you have to do all of that with just one hand on the stick. Keep it going for 45 seconds. Try to stay consistent. You can build your speed up. That's great too. Really focus on twisting the wrist. Down that backhand side. And switch down to your Spider-Man. Okay, plank position and up, touching the outside of your elbows. On each side. Shots. Got him, Timo. Nice job, buddy. Good. Good. Palmer, you look like you're doing a good job here. Jordan Levinson, nice job. Make sure you get those. Yeah, you want to drive that knee up and touch the outside of your elbow. Bring it over to Jordy, who's working hard. You got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Yep, switch it over. Get right back into, sorry. Get right back into your stick handling here. Good. Again, it's, it's a, as much wrist rotation as you do, uh, the stronger you're gonna get. So real strong twisting, kind of over-exaggerate as much as you can with cupping the ball or puck on each side. And that's gonna help you feel it that much more. Five, four, three, two, 
one and switch it down to your Spider-Man planks. Good. Sit torts. See Borak. Bring it up, Borak. Let's see it. Nice. Good. Yep. Try to even reach that knee farther out to the side. Yep. And come up and touch the outside of your elbow. Good. Keeping the other leg straight, though. Yeah. Try not to swing the hips around too much. You got it. There's a little bit of core work and a little bit of work in the hips, too. Hip flexibility and mobility is key here as well. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're up for stick handling. Yeah. Oh, nice. We got some cans going. I like it. Now, Sarah. Being creative, very good. Good, Timo, keep it going. Little knee bend and a lot of focus on twisting that wrist. Three, two, one, and switch. Spider-Man planks. All right, Thomas, let's see it. Good. Try to get your hips down a little lower so you have that straight back for the planks. There you go. And then control as you come up. Good. Now, Thomas is doing this with his elbows on the ground, right? So it's actually forcing him to lift his hips up even more. This is actually a little bit harder, I think. It's easier on your core, but harder on your hips. Yeah, Thomas, try him with your, try to go up with your hands on the ground in the push-up position. See how that looks. See how that feels. There you go. Good. And three, two, one, rest. Nice job, guys. Give it a rest. Okay, halfway through. Job so far. All right, next one here. I'm actually gonna do this one with a puck. So you can get rid of two of your pucks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have just two here in front of us. And we're gonna be working with a figure eight pattern using, again, just one hand on the stick. What I like to do on this one is get in both toe drags, the forehand toe drag here on the outside of my figure eight, come back up through the middle, and then come out onto my backhand side and give it a backhand toe drag here around the outside, and then push back through the middle. So we'll be going like this. Again, you can use a puck or a ball. I know if you don't have the uh, tiles like this or like a really smooth concrete, floor in your garage. It's hard to use the puck sometimes unless you have one of those special green biscuits. So again, I'll just show it one more time with the stick handling ball coming around the outside, back up through the middle, pull back down around the outside of the ground. And now you're talking in so you get a little bit sore. That wrist. One piece of advice here. Don't choke up on the stick. You don't want to have any of that extra stick hanging out here to make it easier for yourself. Make sure you're holding the stick correctly with the top hand. Third finger around the top of the stick. That nice deep position here. Don't change your grip to make it easier for yourself. If it's difficult, that's a good thing. That means you're actually getting better and challenging yourself. So don't hide from that. The second part of the drill here are V-ups. So very similar to leg raises, but now instead of just raising the legs, you're actually going to be raising up the upper half of your body, making a V shape with your body here. So, you're going to have your hands over your head here. You're going to lift up your feet and your upper body at the same time and come up to touch and then back all the way down to the straight line on the ground. Okay, so. 45 seconds of each. We got figure eight stick handling with one hand and then V ups on the second part of the combo. Okay? We'll start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead.
Ten seconds left on the stick handling. Two, one, and we're down to our V ups. Drop your stick, but you can keep your gloves on. Right? Full straight line and touch the hands as close as you can to the feet. Lifting your feet up and your upper body at the same time in a V shape. Let's get, all right, we got to switch over to our stick handling right up. Good job, Palmer, you're up first here. Nice job. Danny Burquadio, I need you to stop doing this, buddy. Thank you. Good job, Palmer. All right, yes, yeah, so Palmer's got one of those green biscuits sliding around there. That looks good. Nice job. You got 15 seconds left on this one. Keep going. Good. All right, Polity, you're up. Three, two, one, and let's see those V ups. Good. Hands up. Nice. Try to lift that upper back up off the ground as much as you can. Yeah, there you go. Nice. These are hard, right? We're not joking around with these Thunder at home training sessions. Good job. The good news is you all have great six packs for the beach this summer. Griffin, you're up. Let's see it. There you go. All the way up. And are we ready to switch here? Keep going. 10 more seconds here. Keep going, Griffin. Five, four. They're hard, right? I know. Two. One, and switch up to our stick handling. I wonder what hurts more right now, our wrists or our abs? Maybe we get a pull up for that. Good job, Rick. Keep going, buddy. We'll do it next time. Yeah. Good job, Griffin. Keep going. You got 10 more seconds. Check on Daphne. Doing great. And three, two, one, switch. We're into those V ups. They're not easy. Let's see it. Oh, but Daphne's killing it as always. Very good, Daphne. Let's see. Checking on McKeon. Jack. Yes. They're hard. Gotta get those legs up and get those shoulder blades up off the ground at the same time. Yes. Oh, we got Jaguar today. Let's check in on Jaguar. Jaguar, nice job, buddy. That was a good one. Good. We're already on the third set of these, so this can't be easy at this point. Good. 10 seconds. You pushing yourself. Get a few more in here. Three, two, one and rest. All right. Let's see everybody's screens here. Hey guys, let's get one thumbs up or give me a number one if your wrists hurt more and give me a number two if your core hurts more. Which one is harder right now? The wrists, number one, or the core, number two? Man, all right. So we got a little mixture here. Some people are saying the wrists, some are saying the core. Some of you guys might just be saying core because that's the last one we did. Once we do some, uh, this next one's going to be the hardest. This is the last one. Number four here is going to be the hardest one for your wrists, you'll see. Okay? Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. Get into the last one here. I'm actually going to use a puck for this one again. You can actually use your same figure eight setup here. But what you're going to do is you're going to be standing in a different spot around your stick handle. So I was standing here working in front of my body. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my body so that 
I'm actually stick handling on my backhand side, way behind my body. So if I'm looking at you guys, that's what this is gonna look like. I'm a lefty, I'm gonna have the right hand on the stick, and I'm gonna be stick handling behind my body here on the right side. I hope that makes sense, everybody. And I'll try to correct it on some screens if I can see you. So again, you're gonna to wanna to be like this, reaching behind you and pulling your puck up and back. And we're actually gonna use that same figure eight pattern. So on my board here, I'm gonna stand over again to the left of the pucks, and I'm gonna be reaching way back behind me with my backhand, and then pulling the puck up in a figure eight pattern around these two pucks, okay? And again, the whole time I've got my feet here on the edge of the board and I'm facing away from my puck. So this would simulate in a game if the puck was behind your body and you had to kind of pull it up towards you. So you're reaching way back, pulling around your pucks like this, okay? And again, the positioning of your body, the way you're standing is the key here. It's what's gonna actually make the drill difficult and help you gain a valuable skill Right, extending your reach on the backhand side and aim just keep. Okay. Back here, pulling up and then around this point. Okay. And then the last core exercise we're going to do is called a T roll. So on a T roll, we're going to be down in our plank position again here. And we're going to roll our body to the side, alternating sides, forming a T position. So like this, come back down. Again, we want that three count. One, two, three. Come back down. T roll to the other side. One, two, three. And back down, okay? So we have one hand backhand pulls through the figure eight pattern, and then we got 45 seconds of the T-rolls. And this will be our last one, for the two hardest ones, so let's see if everybody can get through. All right, five seconds here. Just puck for this one. All right, ready? Make sure your body's twisted. I'm gonna come over to the camera and help you guys out. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Reach way back behind you as far as you can and pull up. And if you want to do this without the figure eight, you can. Okay? But I'm just looking like this. Reach way back, pull up. Reach way back, pull up to two hands. One hand, two hands. Right. Let's see if everybody's got this correct. Okay. Keep going for another 10 seconds here. Good. All right. Now, uh, Jordan Levinson, you're actually using, you're using your forehand side right now. So, all right, let's switch over to our core exercise here, the T roll. So you're down in plank position right now. We're actually gonna go a little longer on each of these. All right, let's get down into our T rolls, good. Politi, let's go over to Politi here because he's doing a good job. Let's spotlight him. Thanks. All right. Yep, Politi, nice job on the T-rolls. You must have done these before. Try to hold it for three seconds. Yep, and come back down. Very good. Let's keep going here. Get another 10 seconds on the T-rolls. Good. I'm going to get... All right, two, one, and switch. Jordan Levinson, I'm getting you back up here. Let me see you doing these stick handles. Remember, if you're a righty stick handler like Jordan here, you're gonna want to have the stick in your left hand. Yep, left hand. And we're stick handling, but hi Jordan. How you doing, buddy? Keep stick handling here. Let's try to do the drill. Get onto your backhand side. Let's see, I'm gonna get another righty up for you so you can see someone else doing it. Look at Joe Tortorella here, he's a righty. See how he's reaching behind. Joe, really try to struggle with that reach back behind you too. Yeah, reach even farther, pulling the ball up, good. Good, and part of this is right, you should really be twisting your upper body. Your feet should be pointed forward and twisting your upper body so that you can really reach back behind you. 
good. See how Joe's got his feet pointed forward and he's reaching back behind. Him. All right, three, two, one, and we're gonna switch over back down to our T rolls. Good. Get a nice twist. So in, right in both of these exercises, you should be getting a nice twist in your upper body. That, that twisting, that rotation of your upper body is so key to so many different things in hockey. Especially uh, you know, slap shots, wrist shots, backhand shots, stick handling on the backhand side. We're actually going to go a full minute on each of these this time, just so we can see everybody doing these things. Get over to our goalie. Let's see it, goalie. Good job on the T rolls there, buddy. Keep it going. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, you guys do a great job on the T rolls. Let's get up for one more round of these backhand pulls. All right, so Thomas, you're gonna to wanna to do this on the other side of your body. So you're, yeah, you wanna go the other way. Sorry, you lost your ball there, but you are doing your forehand side. We actually wanna do this on our backhand. Good, Timo, you got it right. Timo's a righty, he's got the stick in his left hand and he's pulling it way back behind him. You see how he's gotta twist his body because his feet are facing forward. He's reaching that ball all the way, way back behind his body, okay? See, we can get walling up here. Can't see your body walling, so we're gonna get into somebody else. All right, yeah, Kieran's doing a good job too. As a, yep, he's another righty, and he's twisting all the way back behind him. Three, two, one, and switch. Let's finish off with a minute of the T rolls here, rolling all the way around. Very good. Full rotation. Three seconds, go slowly through it, hold, and slowly back down. Nice job. Older guys, you're doing a great job leading the way today with these demos. Very good. There you go. Sobin Brothers, let's see it. Very good. Take your time. Don't rush through it, right? Yeah, sometimes doing it slower is going to get you more activation of those muscle groups. Very good, you got 15 more seconds here. Keep it going. Good. Bring us home here, gallons. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. All right, yep, bring it up. Okay, so guys, today we did a combination of Stick handling, one-handed top hand strength focused stick handling and some core exercises mixed in between, okay? And again, let me see, yeah, let me see one finger if you thought that the stick handling stuff was harder for you throughout the, the uh, entire exercise and if two hands, if the core exercises were tougher for you. All right, got a mix, okay? I'm, hopefully both were hard for you, right? Um, yeah, yeah, some people saying both of the so that's perfect. Um, yeah, that's what we want, guys. We want these things to be a little bit difficult, challenging enough that it's making you better, but not so challenging that it's impossible for you. Uh, again, great to see all you guys. Top hand handling, that last one that we were doing, if it took you to get it right and figure it out on your backhand side, I recommend getting back to that one. Like I said before, that backhand, one-hand stick handling drill is something that I actually work on a lot with some of our older players, the Peewees, Bantams, and players quite a bit because it's actually a really key skill to being successful at the higher levels. So uh, if that's something that you had trouble Thank with, you, Coach. Really fine. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach.